I've had the FPV Blue system for several months now. In fact, when I received my unit, the firmware to make it operate didn't even exist yet. This is a system that's being put together by literally three people. I mean, three people put this whole thing together on pretty much a shoestring budget. Their production, their knowledge, and their abilities are top-notch, but the budget is very low. And they're putting this together not for mini quads. This is not something to even be considered for FPV racing or just small FPV quads in general. This is primarily a wing system, a long-range wing system. And this is just the way I've strapped it up for testing on mini quad just to, you know, see how it works on a mini quad. Of course, this is definitely not the optimal way to set it up. It's just the easiest way to put it on. Uh, let me take it off now. Like I was saying, this is not intended for mini quad flying and mini quads. And something you'll probably notice right off the bat is that it's not running on 5.8. This is running on a 1.3 system, and you can actually change the um, frequency. Um, I, I didn't even see how far it goes, but about a couple, maybe 100 megahertz up and down. So it goes through one megahertz at a time, the 1.3 gigahertz band. And you can see when you look at the transmitter, this is a little bit bigger than the Connect system, but again, this is not intended for mini quads. It does have a fan on it so that you can put it inside a fuselage of a plane or something of the sort. And right now it's using a, um, it looks like an IB Crazy 1.3 uh, gigahertz uh, inverted V antenna because this kind of an antenna works pretty well on planes. And so it's intended for plane use. Now I'm going to show you what it looks like uh, on a mini quad the way I had it set up, which is definitely not the optimal way to set it up with this one antenna. And this one antenna is not like Connex. I'll, I'll discuss that in a second. And um, yeah, it, you'll see what it seems, what it what it looks like. And um, the radio frequency is. Uh, it's, you'll see. You'll see what it looks like. So the radio environment that I fly in in this area is actually super duper harsh. When I fly with my FreeSky uh, 2.4 gigahertz system, it barely makes it. 50 meters. It can't even make it 50 meters. It's it's just ultra ultra harsh. The 5.8 band seems to be a lot better in this area, but it's it's just bad at everything under 5.8. So because this is running on 1.3, it's kind of right in the middle there, and it does have a spectrum analyzer built in. And I did analyze the area, and like all of the band was just high. Like everything was just high. So uh, even over here on the OSC, you're seeing that it's negative, that negative 60 decibels. It, it, it's, there's a lot of other stuff on this same, same band. Something you'll notice right off the bat is that even though the video is going in and out, the breakup quality is very interesting because it's very much kind of analog-ish. It's not kind of digital. If you do compare it to the Connect system, the Connect system is, you know, kind of just great, 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 great until it's just dead. Whereas here you're getting this kind of organic looking, snow-ish looking, digital, YouTube kind of compression looking video. And I personally think that's hugely, hugely favorable in comparison to Connex. Now, of course, this is, you know, this is not acceptable quality to fly around in FPV, but this is a super duper beta. This is a super beta setup. And take that into account that it's just, it's so beta, the code is not intended for this, and I'll discuss why in a second. So first off, if you take a look at the camera, it seems like it's using a Foxier Monster camera. I don't, I don't actually know if it's a Monster camera, I probably should have asked them that. But it's, it's using a standard Foxier camera that they seem to have hacked and um, routed some lines directly out of in order to get the video signal right off right off the, the camera and put it into the video transmitter. This is, so let's compare it to Connex because that's pretty much the only thing that is out there to compare it to. This is an, another low latency uh, FPV grade HD video link. So it's not like DJI, it's not like any other one of those Wi-Fi products out there. This is a low latency system. So that means under 50, mil, uh, under 50 milliseconds. I think it's been, it's been um, calculated or, or clocked at about 40 milliseconds of latency, which is more than acceptable for plane flying or just high air altitude flying, not really um, low altitude flying. It's not really going to be acceptable for 100 miles per hour at five feet off the ground but it's you know usable plenty for a plane 
and you'll also realize that it only has one antenna and that is because this is just a transmitter the connex system is a transmitter and a receiver the connex video transmitter is a transmitter and receiver so the whole set the reason why it has five antennas on the connex receiver module is because it's a multi-in multi-out system so there's two-way communication between the transmitter and the receiver and when they talk to one another they see what the what the radio environment is like and it's constantly switching radio frequencies unless you're using the race setup which locks it to one frequency it's constantly switching frequencies not as fast as your controller but it will if it notices issues it will change frequencies and it'll also change the output of the video so the video power will actually change up and down because there's two-way communication between the transmitter and the receiver now this is a strictly video transmitter video receiver setup and it works well in that regard because it's transmitting and receiving and it's only running on about 500 milliwatts or equivalent to 500 milliwatts and it can it can go higher than that but it's kind of like that's the max the, the firmware will let me go to right now and at that milliwatt range it can do a very long distance i mean people have flown uh 10 kilometers on this system exactly the way i have it here so I just wanted to show it to you because I have it. I'm actually giving this to Team Legit. They don't even know that yet, but I'm giving this directly to them because they do wings, they do planes. They're awesome at doing wings and planes. If I had, if I was gonna do wings and planes myself, they're definitely the ones I would talk to because they do wings and planes better than anybody else I know in the industry. And uh, they've got everything you could imagine and all the expertise in wings and planes I could think of. Um, so yeah, you'll probably see more about this, for, but this is just an overview I wanted to share with you guys because I've had it for a while and I'm giving it away, so it's kind of a shame not to show it off a little bit before I give it away. Um, anyways, hope this was informational. If you're looking for a mini quad HG system, this is not this is not your your thing. If you're looking for a, a like a high altitude, long range, not your primary way of flying video stream off a larger quad. Maybe this is your system. If you're looking at a plane for long range flight and want to have some HD video, this can also be your system. But at this point, it's still in beta. It's fully, fully beta. And it is available for sale in its beta format. Um, the receiver is actually pretty nice. I didn't really talk about it much. I didn't really talk about much on this. Uh, ask questions if you like, but this is not, this is generally not for the mini quad space. That's all. Take care. Bye bye.